Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how to authenticate user with Firebase by using email and password. So this is the official documentation of Firebase and uh, as you can see here, the first step is to add Firebase in Android project. So open your Android studio and I have already created a new project, create a new project and then go to tools, click on Firebase and from here click on authentication click on the authenticate using a custom authentication system and click on connect to firebase so it will open up your browser and as you can see here i have already uh, two projects in my firebase uh, if you don't have any project in uh, your uh, firebase console so you can add a new project from here and i will choose the demo project click on connect and our firebase project is connected to our uh, android studio now go back to your android studio and click on add the firebase authentication sdk it will add the required dependencies click on accept changes okay uh, as you can see here we are all set and now uh, go back to your browser and go to your firebase console and uh, go to your project go to authentication and go to sign in method and from here enable this email password and click on save okay so it is enabled now Let's close it and uh, as you can see here the first step is we have to check the user if we if the user is already logged in or signed in so uh, we will show the user the home page our main activity so in my android project as you can see i have already created the login and registrations activities here this is a simple design and as you can see here we have uh, two edit text one button and a text view and in the login screen we have the same things okay so to edit text uh, one for email and other one for password and the uh, one login button and a text register here okay so when the user click on this register here text text view so we will navigate the user to registration activity okay so this is a very simple design and now we will start our coding so first of all we have to check uh, if the user is already signed in so uh, in your main activity or your home activity override the on start method and we will use the firebase authentication class here okay so just type firebase auth and i will name it mauth and initialize uh, firebase authentication in your on create method okay so now we have to check here we will create a firebase user name it user mauth dot get current user okay so we will check if user is equal to null then we will navigate the user to login activity so we will use the intent here main activity okay so the first step is done and now if we go to the documentation here the third one is create a new account by passing the new user email and uh, add email address and password so for this we will use the create user with email and password method of firebase so i will open my registration activity and same we are using the firebase authentication class i will name it m auth and i will initialize it here we will set a click listener on our registration button we will need to click listener here one for registration button and one for login here text okay so
when the user click on register button so we will call this method okay and uh, text view login here set on click listener when the user click on this so I will copy this intent from here we will navigate user to the login activity if the user is, is already registered okay so I will create the method here private create user and the first step is to get our text from uh, our edit text and we will store it in a string so I will create a string email and et edit text registration email dot get text to string okay and we will get the password as well password et registration password et registration password means that edit text so we are getting our text from edit field okay and next step is to we will check if text utils dot is empty email if the user leave the email uh, edit text blank so we will show an error to the user okay and we will set the error to et registration email set error and we will just simply pass a string email cannot be empty okay and the same thing request of focus <coughs> and if text utils dot is empty password when the user leave the password field empty so we will show an error to the user also so change this to et password and everything else if user put the email and password then we can uh, create the user so we will use the m auth firebase authentication class here and dot create user with email and password so we will pass our email and password here and we will add uh, even here or uh, add on complete listener okay so here we have to check if the task is successful task is successful mean that if the user is uh, created so we will show a toast here to the user and we will uh, user register successfully and then when the user is created we will navigate the user to the a login activity so to do that create an intent register if we have any error so we will show a error post here and uh, I will registration error and we will get error as task dot get exception dot get message and we'll add a signal here okay our registration screen is completed and now we have to add our login so we will do the same for base authentication and auth and we will initialize it here in Firebase on dot get instance and in the login.
login so uh, this is the login page and uh, we don't have any account here so uh, I will click on register here so it will open the registration uh, activity here so I will enter my email and I will set a password and I will click on register so user register successfully and we are navigate back to login so I will enter that email and password to login in my app okay so I will click on login and user logged in successfully and as you can see here uh, this is our main activity welcome you are logged in and if I close the application and I open it again so it will open the main activity because we are logged in uh, previously so in the on we are checking so this user is not known so we are not uh, uh, we are not going back to login activity so if we click on logout so it will navigate back to the login and if I close this and open the app again so we have to log in again because we are signed out from our account and in the firebase I can show you go to authentication user and this is our user okay so if you want to delete this user you can delete it from here so that's it guys if you like this video share it with your friends and do subscribe to my channel